What is up, my little pretties? It's your mistress, the Shell Lions here, and today we are here with another episode to review on the animated series of The Wizard of Oz. Now, this animated series came out around 1990, like around the 90s, and this is actually a really great series. Now, for those who have not seen it, like I'm going to say before, I highly recommend you check it out as it's a really good uh, series, and I highly recommend you look at those. Now, today we are going to review the fifth episode called the lion that squeaked. Well, boy, this is actually a pretty interesting episode. Now, first of all, I'm going to explain that this episode, I have to say right now, was kind of weird. But at the same time, was really interesting. Now, first of all, we're going to start off with Dorothy and her friend, friends are traveling through, well, on the Albic Road to get to the wizard. Well, yet again, just like with all these episodes... However, they end up going into a forest where they end up sitting on a bench that ha that ends up getting very hot, hot as they've been strapped in. So uh, the hyena somehow uses the steel powder that the Wicked Witch of the West had and basically stole Lion's roar as the lion can't even roar, he just squeaks. So basically Lion's roar is in the tie of the hyena. So he basically gets them, but although he does does have a plan to help team up with the Wicked Witch just to get the Ruby Slippers. Now, when... Now, when... When things go up, it's just... Well, this is just the beginning of the episode. So, Dorothy, um, had her friends. And they get free from the bench, but however, they end up having to go get the hyena who, uh, stole the lion's roar to get it back. However, the Wicked Witch of the West shows up at hyena's house one day and asks where the ruby slippers are and he says that he's working on it so the wicked witch of the west tells him okay bring me the slippers the next day or i will do this to you so later on in the episode we see that the wizard is up in the tree so dorothy's friends are trying to get to the wizard but however the however um the ladder has been you know shooken down and Dorothy and Toto end up getting kidnapped by the hyena well meanwhile the tin man the scarecrow and the lion it's up to them to save Dorothy however though as Dorothy and Toto are being stuck at the hyena's house house Toto is able to escape but however though Dorothy is still been held hostage so the wicked witch of the west shows up and they try to get Dor Dorothy to give her back this him give her the slippers but of course Dorothy refuses so the Wicked Witch of the West kicks out the hyena from his cave so she can handle this so so he fame so then and the scarecrow the Tin Man the lion show up and decide they should you know sneak something you know make fake ruby slippers to give to the Wicked Witch so then they she can let them go so they go, they barge in there, and they end up making the trade. But however, Dorothy's real ruby slippers is, like, he, she puts them, she gives them to the Tin Man who keeps them safe, and the Tin Man gives the Wicked Witch of the West the fake ruby slippers. But the Wicked Witch West did, of the West does not notice until after that there was itch pow itching powder inside the fake ruby slippers, so her feet started itching as she blamed the hyena for it. So basically, that's and basically the end of the episode shows the lion gets the gets the hyena's tie and restores his roar, and he roars and scares the hyena away, and he becomes king of the forest again. So that pretty much wraps up the episode right there. In my honest opinion, this episode was actually pretty weird, but at the, weird, but at the same time it was pretty good. Now, I could definitely say the concept of it was just good, and the animation's good as usual. The voice acting was amazing. I even loved the hyena character. <laughs> even though he didn't look like anything from the Lion King. I know the Lion King did not exist back then. But every time I look at that hyena, I think of, you know, the hyenas from the Lion King. You know, Shenzi, Banza, Banzai, and Ed. Yeah, those guys. I Every time I see a hyena in a cartoon or something, I always think of those. And what I do else I like about it was just the storyline of how the episode went out. I like the idea how the lion's roar gets, um, you know, gets taken away, but then he gets it back. Like, that's actually 
mostly something I liked about the episode. I think this episode did a pretty good job, even though this is focusing, you know, on the forest rest of, you know, the of Oz. It's not, you know, focused on, you know, random places. Not like the other episodes, but, you know, you get the picture that this episode did a pretty good job. Now, I could, if you guys are going to be asking me this right now, and I'm sure maybe most of you are asking in your head, is there anything negative to say about this story? I mean, this sub episode. Honest to me, no. There's nothing negative I have to say about it. I honestly thought this move, this episode was pretty good. Now, like I'm going to say right now, and this is what I always continue to say, is this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's okay too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to this episode, and this is simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of this episode is definitely a 10 out of 10. It's a great episode, even though it was weird, but it's still a great episode. I like the storyline, the characters, the voice acting, everything about it was just good. I obviously have no, you know, negatives to say about this episode. I could say this episode did a pretty good job. Now anyways, what did y'all guys think about this episode? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would you have done first to help make this episode a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Channel Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure you like and comment and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so you guys will get notified to my next uploads. And with that said, I will be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out.